Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I have recently gotten started on making YouTube videos. Uh, this is actually based of a lot of my medium posts which I have been pushing out. For a start, I'll give my brief introduction. I work as a senior data engineer based of Singapore. I like building stuff. I like building products. I have a good experience in building data products and data pipelines. This is my recent takes at pushing out new content uh, every week. So let's go and start with it. Google Cloud recently introduced a very impressive service called AutoML. It works on like text images and even like creating your own custom models. It's a very useful service, especially for data engineers like me. It's um, very impressive how Google does it. Uh, it's not uh, very transparent. Google is not very transparent on uh, how it's making the models, but like here comes the new service, which is going to help anyone out, especially for startups who have well, not, like very high on budgets. It can be a very useful service. So as you can see, like a small image, which clearly describes how this works is like you train, you deploy and you serve. After you serve, you, you get a like very easy REST API, which you can just call in. You're using a curl command or like a Python program, which is at the end of the tutorial. A simplified uh, version of machine learning is actually a mathematical equation. It's just that uh, giving the value X, you're trying to uh, predict values Y. So you basically are trying to draw a line on a data set. With recent big advancement in cloud, where big data is involved and scalability invo is involved, uh, big cloud companies like Google are coming out with this stuff which helps basic engineers like me or you just to get with it and start building more, like start churning out models, which are very effective. Before we get started, I just wanted to talk about like how uh, successful AutoML as a service is. I recently found this article on Airbnb, which clearly describes how they are trying to use machine learnings and trying to leverage machine learnings to, for amenity detection on computer vision. This is like the perfect use case, which is on their blog post. So they're trying to build a model which tries to detect whatever is there in the image and gets a label on each setting and gives out the data. So this is very convenient. This is actually predicting what's there in the image based off pre-fed data. So basically the model has been trained. Initially, all the annotation has been provided. The model has been trained. The next step is then you predict, you get uh, very fairly accurate values of these. This is where like, uh, Machine learning is useful in a more of a real world setting. As a part of the tutorial, the the main goal here is to help you build a classification model. So for simplification purposes, we are trying to reference our data from Kaggle. So let's just go to the first step. Let's download a set of uh, dogs and cats. So click on download here on the top right corner. And this will start the download process on the left. And let's just wait for it. With the magic of time, you could see we already have downloaded the data set. Let's just go there and I'll copy and paste it on my reference directory so that it's more easier to reference the images. I'm just going to extract all of the data set. Uh, it's going to take a couple of minutes to do that. So let's wait. As you extract the data set, you should go to the folder dog versus cat. In the data set part, you could see there is a training set and there's a test set. Uh, in our case, we'll start with the training set and we're going to use the test set to predict the values later on. From our perspective, the data set is actually ready because it's like a simple data set. We don't have to do much things. So let's just go to Google Cloud and uh, start building models. So after you go to cloud.google.com, you'll, you'll be greeted with a, a dashboard. Uh, you could see top left corner. I already have like a 430 bucks as my free credits. The idea is to actually build, uh, use the AutoML service and build the model. So go there on the search box and just type in AutoML to click on Vision, which is the tab. In Vision, you get AutoML and Vision APIs. So the idea is actually to go to AutoML Vision. So the, it clearly says that train a custom model to classify images or detect objects. In our case, uh, we're gonna try to classify like, dogs and cats. So uh, click on get started. Just a quick note, uh, I already have a billing account ready. As per my article, uh, the idea is you have to first create a project. They yeah, name it anything you want. Once you create it, you have to go to AutoML vision data set and like it's gonna ask you to enable API. Once you enable the API, you have to enable the billing as well. So the first step is to create a data set here. I already done that, but uh, I'm gonna replicate all of the stuff. So click on new data uh, set and like, which is actually creating a new data set. Give it a name. So, so dogs, cats, 
to. Based on your selection, after you give it a name, you have three options. There's like a single label classification, there's like a multiple label and object detection. Uh, we, we're gonna start off with the single label one. All three of them have this three specific purposes. Like the first one is the simplest one. The single label is helps to predict one correct label. And multi-label is like multiple labels on a single image. The third is like object detection. It's trying to figure out like an object inside an image. So if you see the amended detection, this is more of a object detection model. In our case, we want to keep it very simple. So we'll just start off with a single label classification and our use case meets the fact that we just want one label in the image. Either the image is like dog or the other one is like the cat. So let's click on the single image, select the, that one and click on create data set. After you click on create data set, it's going to take you to the actual dogs and cat to data set. This is the portal where you actually going to upload the images. There are multiple ways which you can use to import the images. But uh, the way I'm going to teach you is the, like the simplest one where you don't need to touch code. We just need to upload it using select files. The idea is you go with the default selection, upload images from your computer. So you have to select your files here. So click on select files. The way uh, AutoML works is based off transferred learning. So which is the best part of Google using Google's AutoML. So Google has already trained this model on all of its data set. It's like one of the perfect model they could come out with. Uh, the idea of us training is to a custom uh, setting is basically on top of this mo model, we are training the images of dogs and cats. So we are actually training just the last layers of the model where it's trying to identify dogs and cats. Based off that, you could get started uh, with building models with like minimum of 100 images, which I'm gonna do. So just I'll just go back and select the files of cats. Let me start with the smaller data set because it's just a sample to do. You could go like any further, like tens of thousands of images if you want to. It's just gonna take time to train the images, which is gonna happen at the back end, right? So let me just select 100 images. I'll just open it. The next part is to select a cloud storage bucket. Essentially, these images will be pulled out to these uh, the Google Cloud Storage Bucket. So for the training to happen, it should be on Google Cloud. So create a new bucket. Dogs, cats, two, and leave the rest to default. Click on create. Let's just wait. Okay, and uh, then select this bucket. All right, now you have the dogs and cats to select it. So all these images will go onto this bucket, which is just a storage or cloud. So I've clicked on the import images and let's just wait for all these images to be imported. Okay, with the, with the miracle of time, we have the cats data set uploaded on Google Cloud. Now, as you have the pictures of cat, different and various cats, we need to label it. So we have the images, we just need to label it. So just to do that is to create a new label called cat. So click on like add new label and cat. And click on the tick mark, you have the label. So click on select all. I just uploaded 130, but you can do any number. You need to click select all and do it page by page because there's a limitation of seeing just 200 images per page. And click, after you select all, click on assign labels click on cat, click on save. So this is going to label all the images to cat now, effectively. Let's just wait for a couple of more minutes. Done. Okay, so you could easily see all the 130 images are now cat. Uh, do a similar step for dogs. Do an import, go to import, go to select files. Uh, this is a bit longer to do, do doing via code is much easier, but uh, for simplicity, I'm just doing again another um, import of docs. Go to the doc data set uh, in the training set, go to docs, select the one like uh, like similar amount of images which you did on cat. So 130 here, click on open. You will have the images, uh, select the Cloud storage, select docs, select. Okay, now you have the images, you have the bucket selected, click on continue. This is going to import the images as well now. So let's just wait. All right, uh, as you can see, we already have uploaded our docs data set. So the next step is to tag the dog images with labels. 
so you you can already see there's no label right now because all of them are assigned like an unlabeled tag so click on the unlabeled images it automatically selects all the dog images because we recently up uploaded all of these images so i'm just changing the page to 200 because uh, you just want to make it quick the best way i would suggest is to create a csv and then upload i could do another tutorial on that later but uh, for beginners this is like the best way to do it it doesn't involve any writing anything else any python script or something like that so click on select all this essentially selects all 130 images now create a new label on the left call it to the dog i just do that click on tick mark all right we have the dog label click on assign labels select dog just save it so it's going to take a few seconds to do that let's just wait okay now all of our Im images are being tagged as either cat or dog so i think we're good to go for training so that's the best part of uh, auto ml it doesn't involve writing any code so just click on train next after you click on train it's just going to give you a brief on the data set you have the labels on the data set the number of images and the split of train validation and test and click on start training the next step is to give a model name i just keep it as default click, keep it as cloud hosted click on continue after you define the model name uh, you have to set a node hour budget which is quite easy give it the default 16 node hours and also check the deploy model so because you want to use the model after training you would check this box this essentially deploys the model and makes it available through a rest api which is like very easy to use so after that click on start training all right now the model is being trained it's going to take a couple of hours to just go ahead so i would just shut, shut this down and see you back in a few hours all right uh it's been more than two hours since we have started the training. Uh, the model training has already been done. I have got a notification via email on my account. So I am going back to vision and gonna check the data sets. So let me click on data sets now. Okay, you can clearly see uh, the model has been successfully been trained. So let me go through the various aspects of the model. If you can see, uh, it gives out the, all the labels and the precision and recall related to it. There's like few more parameters you can configure the confidence threshold. I'll leave it as default, whatever the Ottoman has tagged in. It's also going to give you a confusion matrix, which actually describes in the 10 most confused labels, how the model is confused between the different labels. In our case, there isn't any. So our model clearly is able to distinguish a cat and a dog, which is quite cool. So with like a small data set of 130 images each, we could build like a very accurate model so to test and use is also very straightforward let's just go to the tab test and use the model is already deployed so you can already test your model by uploading images through the panel or you just directly go and integrate via rest api or a python module so let me go and test a few images uh, let me go to my test set the test set is the images which the model hasn't seen previously so let's just straight away test a few of the images from there okay so you can see the results and the prediction the model has done on cats it clearly is tagging the correct images and with the correct label so in our case which is cat for now even uh this image when a cat is being held in hand is the model is quite confident on predicting this as cat which is a good feature of a model so it seems to be very accurate and we readily available for use it from anywhere else let me test out a few images of dog and we're good to go. You can clearly see the predictions. It is tagging the model as dog. Almost all the images are, this one looks like my dog. So interesting to see. Uh, so all the images are like there, clearly being tagged as dog. So we are actually good to go. Okay then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like or comment on the video if you want to. Uh, you'll probably get more from me eventually i'm just trying to set up a workflow for myself posting more content online uh i hope to see you soon thank you